Hello everyone, uh, I'm Harshni Reddy and I'm going to continue the presentation from here. So let's discuss about first analysis, uh, which is the introduction of plotting of objects. As we've already discussed about cluster analysis, applications of clustering, requirements and its types, now we'll look into mapping objects into space. So this can be done uh, using the following steps. So first, we have to determine the number of dimensions. The number of dimensions we'll have depends on number of attributes in the data. So that uh, for that, we need to determine the attributes, determine the objects. After determining these, we have to determine the values of these objects in order to plot them into the space. Uh, let's say if we have three attributes, uh, we go with three dimensional space, four attributes, four dx, and so on. Uh, these objects will be taken and we'll plot them into space based on the values of them. Now let's see how uh, we can do this. So we follow the basic uh, steps that I have shown here. So first we find uh, groups of objects that are similar to each other and are uh, different from objects in other groups. We calculate this by using a distance measure which means we have to determine how far any two objects from same group are uh, from the other objects within the group. Let's say if they are close to each other, we group them. But before determining their distance, uh, I mean, before determining how far they are, first we need to plot them in whatever dimensional space we can. So consider the example I've shown here. Uh, I've taken three objects along with three attributes and I have marked with them with uh, some values. Uh, now we need to plot uh, these in space by drawing coordinates as we have uh, three attributes, we'll be having a three dimensional space. Here you can see the graph. I've plotted uh, the objects into the space based on the values of their attribute. Let's consider for object x1. For object x1, the values I've taken are 0.1 and 0.2 and similarly for objects x2 and objects x3, I've plotted them in the graph. And uh, this is the x coordinate where the attribute tree lies and to the, uh, I mean, this is the z coordinate. To the x coordinate we have attribute 1 and to the y coordinate we have attribute 2. So here lies one cluster and here lies one cluster and here lies another cluster. This is how we can map our objects into space. So now uh, let's discuss about intra-cluster distance. We, in order to determine uh, if the objects in space are close to each other or further from each other, we can calculate the distance between them and there are several ways to calculate this distances among which the most popular one is the Euclidean distance followed by a Manhattan distance, Jaggard index or Jaggard similarity coefficient or variance coefficient and we have many other. Uh, 